What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I ran into a problem that I figured out a solution for and I wanted to share it with you. So well, I edit my videos in iMovie, the free app for iPads and iPhones. I do them on both my iPad and my iPhone. Um, and this works on both. But the issue is when I'm editing a video like this and I wanna add your music or an audio file, you can do that. You can certainly, you, you can add videos, photos and audio and you go to audio and you can go to my songs and they're the ones that i have synced via itunes to my ipad or iphone are there but if for some reason you don't have a song that you want you've got to get it on your ipad to get it into imovie and then you know i don't even sync my ios devices anymore to itunes i don't even have itunes on my computer because i just use the icloud so the issue is how do you get an mp3 file into the list of songs that are available in iMovie. And the issue here is that it's not super easy. So one, you could do one of two things. You could go to the, the iTunes store and actually buy the song if it's there. Or if you can find uh, the MP3 file or the audio file that you want to put on here, download it to your computer and then get it on here. Let me show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is find the MP3 file that you want and download it to your computer. Once you've done that, go ahead to iCloud.com, Apple's website, and go ahead and log in with your iTunes account. Once you're logged into iCloud.com, go ahead up here to the iCloud Drive and click on that. In order for this to work, obviously you have to have iCloud Drive enabled, which you can do on your iOS device. And now you actually have folders if you have sunk these apps to iCloud, or more folders and what you can do here is open up the iMovie folder and now you can upload files by dragging them here so let's go ahead there's also an icon up here to upload a file so one of the music files that i recently used was the saved by the bell rmb remix i have it uh downloaded on my computer and so just navigate to wherever it is and double click it now it's going to upload that file into your iCloud account, and in this case, into my iMovie folder. So it'll take just a minute uh, for it to show up. Once the upload is done, you could actually navigate back to your root iCloud drive. Um, you could see, you could actually upload it here to the root, which I've done before, but uh, as you can see, it is inside the iMovie folder in iCloud. Now let's go back to the iPad. Okay, now we're back on my iPad and iMovie. And if I wanted to add that song that we just uploaded, you go back here to audio and you click here on this menu item, iCloud Drive. This is going to open up the folders in iCloud Drive. And in this case, I wanna to go to iMovie. And there is the audio file that I just uploaded. So I'm gonna tap on that. And now it's gonna download that file from the iCloud and add it to my project here. So the cool thing is, if you can find an MP3 file, you can absolutely get it on your iPad in a way that iMovie will be able to find it officially and add it to your project. And so it's a great way to be able to quickly add an MP3 file without having to add it to your iTunes music library and then sync your device again. So hopefully that helps. Peter Von Panda, out.